my name is Guy Wallace. And in this pack video short, we're going to discuss EPI Stage 1. PACT is an acronym. It stands for Performance-Based, Accelerated, Customer and Stakeholder Driven, Training and Development of Any Blend. EPI is also an acronym. It stands for Enterprise Process Performance Improvement. In Stage 1, we're simply trying to determine what is the current state's situation, where are we trying to get to in the future, what are the gaps, and what are the implementation steps that we must plan for and resource in order to make it happen, in order to get from here to there, the current state to the future state. Stage one is intended to avoid defaulting to our favorite intervention. Rather than seeing every issue, problem, or opportunity as a need for Six Sigma, or Lean, or Lean Six Sigma, or Human Performance Technology, or Training, we want to do an adequate assessment of the needs to determine what are the interventions that are necessary in order to get from here to there, from the current state, where there may or may not be problems, to the future state what we are striving to get to. In phase one of targeting EPI, we're doing project planning and kickoff. We're meeting with the project steering team to then review a draft of that project plan and getting their commitments to the project or getting them to kill the project or to put it on hold because it's not timely, to modify the approach or to buy in and sanction it. That then leads to an analysis of the current state. There are many different tools that we can use to capture a view of the current state. And of course, this needs to be mindful about how we're going to articulate the future state so that we can compare the two, that we can identify the gaps, that we can prioritize the gaps because not all gaps between here and there, the future and the current state, are necessary for us to address. Not if we think in terms of the Pareto Principle. In Phase 2, an analysis team meeting is held with the target population master performers so that they can articulate what is the current state. And we might use other subject matter experts to help us with understanding that future state or that when we get so that when we get to Phase 3, we're articulating this and, and we can do a comparison. We can use process maps, the swim lane type, or performance models to capture the current state as well as the future state. We can look at what are the enablers of those processes. What human assets do we require now and what human assets may we require in the future? Are there different knowledge and skills? Are we going to not need strong people because we're going to get forklifts and we're going to enable the process through forklifts and not just have strong backs of individual humans? Are we going to need to change our facilities and grounds and build some clean rooms because it's too dusty and dirty where we're working now and as we go into new products, we go into a new future state, we're going to need something different. We can begin to capture the enablers of the process views, the performance views, in various categories. This format can help us capture the target audience's attributes and values. What physical attributes do we need? What psychological attributes are required? What intellectual attributes are there? What values are important to the current state? Later on, a future state view will be created and it will be compared then. What from the old will need to be retained in the new and what in the old won't we need at all and what are the new things that we'll need in the new future state that we didn't need in the old state. In phase three, a future state design is created using whatever tools we use to capture both the process performance and all of the enablers we can then compare and contrast what's going to be needed that's new and different 
or needed again still in the future state compared to the current state, the old state. Once we understand those differences, the deltas, we can begin to do implementation planning. We can figure out what do we need to do first, second, and third, so to speak. Once we've painted that picture of the future state and compared it to the current state and have an implementation plan, we can begin to think about the interventions that we are going to need in order to get ourselves to the future state. I've been practicing, publishing, and presenting on these methods since 1982. My recent book, Six Pack, covers all of this in great detail.